celebrated it, and we are golden. So then this is going to be the first episode of more than likely something to pass time. At the moment I'm kind of working a lot and I am doing a lot of other stuff so I thought I'd start a small little series on my channel. I'm going to be ranking all the generation 1 to, well, all the Skylanders I've got for now and I'll be picking the rest up. Giving a ranking out of 5, you know, we're not doing any of this 3.8, 2.8 or whatever. It's going to be between 0, 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3 and you know, so on and so forth. Took me a while to decide who to start with, and we are definitely going to start with. The only main reason wound up. Okay, I'm, like I didn't put Skylander on the poll, but okay. The main reason I actually ended up buying the first Skylanders game. And that would be. Because, of course, it was a Spyro game. So. Quick rundown. How this is going to work is I am going to be. Reviewing the Skylander on the game in which they released like for instance The scans I've got done at the moment are like I've got a series 2 Zook fully leveled but I ain't got his wild power But I'm not gonna be adding his wild power into because that one isn't his wild power wasn't in It, it wasn't in the first game because obviously Zook is a, originally came out in generation 1 So I will not be reviewing his wild powers. I'll probably do that once I've finished the first generation of Skylanders I'll be recommending certain things like paths and stuff to go down but I thought it'd be a fun little thing to do got me phone as well to keep track on who I've ranked and who I've not eventually I'll do like a video on like um on what they're called the wild powers and I'll see if like certain wild powers bump them up like spoilers for zooks it, it don't it don't like make him any better whatsoever so let's kind of get started essentially I'm just going to be in arena I'm going to talk about the Skylander talk about what path Talk about what I like, dislike. Basically, power looks like power design, and that will all fit into what I'd rank him. Sparrow is, well, it's Sparrow. He, I should probably turn the volume down to be fair because it is very loud. That's the brightness. Audio, audio. That should do. So, that's still really loud. What the hell? Well, it's loud in, loud in me. Turn down a bit. So basically, Sparrow obviously came out back in like 1990 summer with the original trilogy. The original trilogy was kind of like the only reason why I got into gaming in the first place. That and Crash, but you know, we're not. I ain't, got, I ain't got the Crash figurine or the Cortex figurine, so I won't be reviewing them. And yes, I'm on the easy egg figure because I'm just talking about how good they are. Um, so, first time buying this Sparrow was like the only reason as to why I bought it was a new Sparrow game. After the terrible Sparrow games that we kind of got after the PS2 era. Wasn't very good. So... As you can see, Sparrow in this game is a lot, is a lot better than what he is in the other game. To be fair, like he's not he's not as good as what he is in. He's a lot better in this one than what it was in Sparrow's Adventure because in this one he's got this knockback, and obviously you know you can literally just you can spam it. <laughs> what we'll do is I'll probably give it give a quick talk about the Skyland Day. After each round, I'll sort of go into a, like after round one's over. I'll go into like, the first set of upgrades, then after round two is over, I'll probably go into I'll probably go into like you know the paths and that, and then after like probably once it's over I'll eventually like move on to um you know giving them a ranking and anything that I've missed I'll probably go on about. Do you I could knock them back to be fair? But People, a lot of people really don't like Sparrow's design this one is 100% understandable because at first I wasn't too keen, but it's weird because I got the starter pack along with, I think it was like, you get three, three in the starter pack, you get like three in the starter pack followed by, and then I got about, pff, oh my God. I got about four or five Skylanders. 
with it. So that's basically, you know, how he plays, kind of. So, start about his first thing. Like, when you first get him, he only has access to his charge, his flame ball. Like, his flame ball is okay. His charge, obviously, I'm, re I'm reviewing him from Sparrow's Adventure. So, his flame ball and his charge are very okay. There's nothing too special. The flame, the flame ball attack travels further. That, that's that's not a very, it's not a very good. Like cause back in Spyro's Adventure, anyway, like it didn't really matter anywhere. So that that's not a very good ability. Then there's this. Like you'll notice, there's going to be a, a like a huge, huge. I'm trying not to be biased, but there is going to be like a bias with certain characters. Certain characters who have fly. If if they've got a flying ability, the chance of them getting any higher than a three point five rating is practically almost impossible. Mainly due to the fact that fly is a waste of an, of an ability slot like it's just a terrible terrible ability slot like sparrows is all right which i'll explain later but most of them such as sonic booms um I'm trying to think what else flies sonic booms uh is there any character that can fly is gonna get a lower rank because flies use like 100 percent useless so that's a terrible ability that's not too bad and that again is also a very useful ability. So, out of the first, what, well, one, two, three, four abilities, the fly is only really good for ma maneuvering around. Yeah, he, already, he gets resistance as well, flying, that's fair enough, but when are you really flying around in the middle of a fight? That's kind of useless because the extra distance doesn't really matter. That's not too bad because obviously it gets you around quicker, but then it sort of argues with which one would you, would you rather fly around or, or run around, which I pairs I'd rather run around. That's a good ability because shooting three fireballs at once, you know, you can't really complain that shooting three fireballs at once. But the only reason I wound up playing, like, the only reason I started this series is because I found all my Skylands and decided to buy Imagine. It's like, I have not, I have Sparrow's Adventure next to me, I have Giants, I've got Swap Force and Imagine. I don't have Trap Team, I never gave that a go, and I didn't play Supercharger, so you'll probably won't see any Superchargers and stuff like that. Like, the characters that I've got fully upgraded as of this video, which is going to be the first one to go up, obviously, is, is the only reason why I've got it so far. I've got to, got to start it off with Sparrow. I have the other two from the starter pack, Trigger Happy and Gilgrim. Sonic Boom, I've got a Wham Shell, which is... I don't put this where I've got another one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got like nine more Skylanders ready to review after this. But I, I think how Sparrow plays, I've. I, I, I will also say like if they're viable in like higher. Most Skylanders are not very viable in Chaos mode on. Is it Nightmare mode? Like they're just not very viable because everything kills you in like two shots. Unless you're like a fully upgraded giant with like the best thing. Or at least you don't feel like like. I had my I had Kalamu, I do a lot of my videos with Help Me because he came around help me with um a lot of my stuff. But when it came to uh came to leveling up, he's been playing like he's only been really been playing Generation Three Skylanders, but obviously you know he gets them up. Like I've got from different generations, I've got Slobbertooth, um, Golden Queen, and Kingpin, max rank. Well. So, the increased range you know, is nice. It doesn't go like it goes very far, but you don't really need it to go that far. And obviously, you know the increased range on the dash. You know, that that's the only increase because I've gone down the dash um, skill tree. Like, if I've got two of the same scouts, for instance, I've got normal Sparrow and Dark Sparrow, but I just prefer Dark Sparrow for some reason. Um, with the other Sparrow, I'm going down the Fireball tree. I mean, I've already been down the Fireball tree before because I used to hate the dash. But, I don't know, I really do like Sparrow, like, I didn't like him when I first got the game, I thought he was probably the worst out of the starter pack, but I'm beginning to realise that he's not. So round two is finished, so now we're going to go into the paths. So, first, fire shield, a fire shield appears when using the flame ball attack, it, it don't really do anything, to be fair. It's not very good, I think, I think if an enemy runs into it, it's like five damage or used to or something like that, but... Personally, it's never it's never done anything. It's never saved me. It's never really helped me. It's just so that's kind of a useless ability there. Flame balls do extra damage in the middle one explosion. You know, that's fine. 
that's fine, you know, the fireballs do extra damage and yeah, the middle one explodes, but then you think of also the sad ones, where they, where they benefit from a little bit of extra damage, they also don't explode. So, you're basically just upgrading one of your three fireballs. The other, one of them's getting increased damage explosive, the other two are getting like, slightly increased damage, kind of pointless. The Daybringer Flame, charge attack. See, the thing about charge attacks is you can, they can be interrupted. So, if you get hit once, it's interrupted. So I'm not a big fan of charge attacks. So I'll, I always look at uh, which one's got the better things. Like So basically that to me is useless and that to me is pretty useless. Whereas this, enemies hit by charge attacks become stunned. This is amazing because you can literally stun lock somebody. You can stop them fully from being able to attack. Increased damage, again, you can't really argue with increased damage. Charges last longer and do it extra damage. So basically you get bonus damage from that and then bonus damage from that. So you get two bonus damages plus a constant stun. Which personally to me sounds miles better. And then we're talking about his soul gem. So basically, when I said about some bias, Spyro's flight, it's kind of useless. But at least he gets an attack with it. That ground pound is a very strong attack as well. And whereas Sparrow is very basic, that makes up for his flight. Like, he actually has a flight attack. Whereas someone like Sonic Boom doesn't. And it does do... A nice hefty bit of damage and it's area damage as well so it, it don't it's, it's good ability i found myself liking spyro a lot more this time through like than i have done in any of the other games like spyro's adventure i started off with like sonic boom voodoo i started off with prison break as well i believe uh, i started off with a fair few skylanders and i, I literally hardly ever played i think my first my first ever fully leveled character was Trigger Happy, because let's be honest, like Trigger Happy was ridiculously overpowered back in the old games. Like Trigger Happy was like stupid, stupid broke. <laughs> so then the Gilgrunt, which to be fair, Gilgrunt's an interesting one, which I can't wait to talk about. But Sparrow, you know, a lot of people ripped on his design. I, I don't mind it. Like, I grew up with him, so it's kind of nice to see him all grown up. Because obviously, I changed from being little. It was nice to see him all grown up, Sparrow. I get why people didn't like because they want the same cute little purple dragon, but at the same time, I, it was nice to finally see a new version of Sparrow. And I'll, I'll give Toys for Bob credit, like, I'll give him credit for trying. But I noticed, like, as time went on, I used Sparrow less and less and less because the first game, the premise was just Toys to Life, like, it didn't need this, it didn't need Sparrow in the game to be successful because obviously the whole idea of the Toys for Life, ah, oh, that's max level, was already there. And that was like some of the you didn't really get to see often. Don't really any games like it, I don't think at the time, or at least I didn't hear of any. I remember being so excited to play Sparrow's Adventure, but my mum said I couldn't have it because obviously she knew it was going to cost a lot. Stepdad got me it for Christmas anyway, <laughs> against my mother's orders. But yeah, it's, play, I went back and replayed Sparrow's Adventure, and even in Sparrow's Adventure, Sparrow just isn't that good. Like. The stun lock doesn't really seem to work as much, and if I remember correctly, the actual charge, you don't get knocked back, you just kind of get stuck on him. Obviously, because obviously there's no difficulty level in, in Sparrow's Adventure, like, that kind of leaves you open to get battered by most things that attack you. And that's where I had the issue with Sparrow, like, because all the other characters I had was better. Literally all the other characters I had was better. Well. To it well at the time I thought they were better. After, after, after playing a couple of them I realised like there's a bit there's a couple of Skylands on this list which were my personal favourite back when I was younger and now I'm just kinda of sad like why did I like them this much? And then other Skylands where I didn't didn't really care for and I'm just sad like why didn't I like this one that much? And it's just weird. All in all I'm cleaning up house. I know it's only on I know it's only on easy but I'm not trying to sell it because I have a I have a terrible, terrible potty mouth. But oh, yeah. it's, it's just it's just ridiculous in this game. Like, it's, it's so useful. To be fair, picking all this up is completely useless. Oh god. So in a nutshell, if you've not got Sparrow in your collection, I'll probably not even even say in his reviews whether if you've not got him, whether they're worth picking up or not. If you've not, which technically you should do. Because if you're a big fan of Skylanders, you'll, you'll have got it in the first, what, starter pack. But 
you can literally pick up, I think, this Skyland and L for about like 30p or something like that. Like, it's ridiculously cheap. Oh, cool, tech gear. It's a ridiculously cheap Skyland to pick up. Is he worth it? Yeah. Where his first set of abilities are great, the rest of it picks up. I do 100% recommend going down this one. If you've got two Sparrows, go down this one as well, just to try it out, I guess. But I've been down both, and I'm not gonna lie, I much prefer this one. Stunlock. It's just, it's just amazing like it's it's so much better than what the other one is and the ground pound like where is it's risky and higher difficult is if you're just playing co-op on more friends it's just miles better so if i was to give spyro like a rank and like old me had said 2.5 because i thought oh, he's, he's all he's all right but i'm actually gonna say it's definitely worth a three out of five because the only reason i won't give him a 3.5 is because again like he doesn't really get good until you get pa like really past here your first three abilities don't really help you this does help you but only to an extent and then you don't really get good once it's fully upgraded and it in the first game it's not exactly hard to get a full upgrade just keep playing the first section of layer of chaos and then um, you'll be all right you'll be able to get like a level 10 within five minutes but yeah three out of five i think is definitely definitely where i'm going with this I'm going to review probably the starter packs. I'm just going to review who I get done at the time because I have like all, like the 32 Skylanders. I own 28 of them at the moment. I need Slam Bam, Sunburn, uh, Warnado. And who's the last one that I need? Slam Bam, Sunburn, Warnado. Oh, and Dino Rang. So I'll be doing them at some point. But yeah, 3 out of 5. That's it. If it gets to the point where I start uploading these and because I'm in part of some Skylander communities, like if people start watching, like if you want if you want to see a set in Skylander get done, if I've got it, I'll, I'll do it for you. But next time we'll be reviewing either Trigger Happy or Gilgrunt, depending on how I'm feeling. It's three out of five. First episode done. Looking forward to getting on. I'm looking forward to series. This is the only series I'm actually looking forward to doing like so much. But stuck around to watch. Thanks.